Yeah. Hey, don't Stella. Hey, oh, right? Charlie, Charlie, Charlie. Oh, oh, all the you, women Carla. just love Come old Chase. Oh, it's so good to see you well, guys. It's been a while. Yes, yeah, said that. That's a lively little song. You had a hand in writing that, huh? Yes, that, I did. From personal the, observations. The third verse, you know, when I when I was pitched that song, I thought, well, you know, that's good, but what about us? What about us girls? We we got something to say, so I decided I'd say my part. <laughs> you did it well, dear. <laughs> yeah. Now tell us about the place you had. Is it, is it right in Pigeon Forge, Tennessee? Uh, it's one mile off the parkway in Pigeon okay. Forge. It's on Wares Valley Road at 725 Wares Valley Road. I know where that on is. the left side of the road. Uh -huh. And it's called Stella's Hat House Cafe. And uh, five nights a week I have music in there. And Thursday and Friday and Saturday nights uh, I'm doing an all original musical show that I have written. It's called A Songbird's Heart. And it runs uh, the gamut of music from uh, Appalachian folk to country, pop, and blues, mm -hmm. and a little bit of jazz. And so we have a good time, and we have picking on the back porch. Yeah, there's one thing I know you do that I find fascinating. It's where you bring some writers in, some of your buddies from Nashville. Right, I and they Karen collaborate. Taylor Good. Yeah, and they collaborate with the songwriters in the area up yeah, there, Yeah, we've, right? we've been having different people in, like Judy Rodman came in last month and did a beautiful show, and Karen Taylor Good's been in. Wayne Carson's been in to mm -hmm. sing, and just a whole bunch of people have uh, come in and just hung out and uh, stayed for the weekend in the mountains. And, We've had a songwriter series. Sounds like a lot of fun. That's a good and thing. And open mic night, people can come in and get up and sing on the back porch. We have uh, picking on the back porch every night, and so you can do that too. Just get involved yeah, all the way, huh? Talent contest, Perfect. just whatever we feel like doing. Well, let me ask you this: in the cafe, <laughs> yes. are all the dishes things that are from your cookbook? Last year they were things from okay. the cookbook. I had stuff like. Uh, uh, my tater pie, which is really a good little recipe that I kind of made up, and it was one of the more popular things, and Dolly's dill dumplings from that cookbook, and that was very popular, and Mama's fried taters, and uh, cornbread and beans, and a big old slice of onion. Well, now, let me tell you this. We were telling the folks at Stella Parton's Country Cooking, and when I told the audience I could probably cook something from this cookbook, they laughed at me. Well, I brought you some, uh, you and Charlie, something that, uh, some? that you can cook. You mentioned something about my no-bake cookies. Did you bring some? Yes, I always wanted to bring Charlie cookies so I could say, you want some cookies, little boy? <laughs> <laughs> uh, and these are no-bake well, cookies. Of course I do, ma'am. Here you go. Okay. Then ha these have a no cookie, cookies. little boy. Yes, it's uh, <laughs> peanut butter no, I could make and these. chocolate and oatmeal. Yes, you stir up all the, you know, stuff, and then you What just... are the ingredients besides the cocoa and the oatmeal, obviously? Peanut butter and oh. oatmeal and oh. cocoa. Oh, wait a minute. You, you like it? Mm. They're great. We need some milk, you though. Oh, you yeah. <laughs> Charlie, are we going to drink it out of the jug? No, no, wait a minute. We got some milk here. Here, that's your... Is it skim? Here. Oh, what are you it worried about? It is not. Don't no, worry about it. Nine it's grams it's of milk. milk. All right. Hey, by the way, when you, when you get your cookbook, um, mm, we are good. do you have to have a lot of fancy cookware and things like that? No, I don't think you do, Charlie. All you need is a good iron skillet and a knife and a fork and a stirring spoon and, yeah. a, and a rolling pin. And mm -hmm. the only reason you need that is to hit your husband with. Oh, there? Yeah. True. True. Man, this is... A, oh, Charlie! Can I pass these out? <laughs> Talk about it. You I'm know. sorry. I thought I was home. <laughs> you know, I just... Do you do that at the house? Oh, uh, no. Yes. <laughs> Put that camera There's something wrong with this picture. This man in this purple jacket with well, this chug of milk. Drink it now, this chug of milk. Well, that's the way we do it. Stella, how do you eat this stuff and stay so skinny? Well, uh, I just eat a little bit. But it's so good. I know, but you don't have to eat the whole platter. Oh, oh yeah, you uh, do. <laughs> she's, oh, on, yeah, she's, yeah. On her, she's on her fifth cookie right oh, now no, over here, you know? No, I'm not. I've only got the one. These are oh, really what do you good. think? You like them? Yeah. Well, and see, you can make those. What, five minutes? You just put it, yeah. stir it up, plop them where? Yeah. Just on a pan? See, and... My idea of cooking, I think I'm a real good cook, but I, my philosophy is you shouldn't cook unless you're hungry. And so I have two settings on my stove that's high and off. And if you have to go to the store, then it's too complicated. You've got to have something in the cabinet already to cook. Hey, are all your sisters good cooks? Yeah, yeah, I think Pretty they much. are, yeah. I like to think I'm the best cook, but I don't guess I am. We have heard that you are. When did you start learning to cook with your mom? When I was real little, I used to 
climb up in a chair and cook and experiment with things. And that's really how the cookbook started, Lori. And I was a collector of recipes since I was eight or nine years old. And so I thought, well, I'll put a cookbook together. Mm -hmm. And I did, but it was a lot more... <laughs> He's going to drink out that drug again. No, I'm going to wait till we go to commercial now. It was a lot more difficult than I thought to, you know, compile a cookbook. So this mm -hmm. is my second one, and I'm uh, doing two more for this publisher. And, and where, I'm where excited can they get it? Is it in the bookstores everywhere? It's a Davis Kid bookstore, and oh, I, I'm not sure where all else you can get it, but you can buy it through the Hat House. You can well, get it at Dollywood. Right. But uh, you can certainly get it at Davis Kid. You know, one thing you said in the book that I, I really think is great is that by cooking and having a big spread, it shows people that you care for them. You know? I think so. That's I what so. I like to do. It's a way to nurture people. And did you read my story in there about Omar Sharif in the back? No. Oh, yeah. you got to read that, Lorianne. It's, okay. It's a good story. Does he drink milk out of the jug too, like that? Well, he didn't the night I had dinner with him. All right. <laughs> Omar but Sharif. You didn't, but didn't I didn't take him cookies. Yeah, I know, baby. You didn't bring him cookies. <laughs> Oh, well, man. I'm going I'm to slosh some milk down as we take a break, and we'll return with more Music City Tonight. <laughs> Thank you, darling. Here are some dates to catch Stella Parton at her cafe in Pigeon Forge and her show in Denton, North Carolina. Stay with us for a song from Shelley West.